time. Allies are governed by time. That's why we have, we are surrounded by clocks and calendars that dictate our activities. As the minutes tick by, we wonder where the day went. When responsibilities and pressures meet mount, we complain. I just don't have time to get it all done. But the reality is that God has given us enough time to do exactly what he planned for us. Perhaps the biggest issue is whether we are using our time to do our will or the Lord's. Time is a gift from God, and he has allotted each of us a measure in which to live and accomplish his purposes. We have only two options to spend it temporarily on our own interests or invest it in eternally. Since time can never be retrieved or reversed, it's critical that we make the most of every opportunity the Lord provides. Mm -hmm. The key to investing in eternal eternity is following God's plan for your life, not just filling your days with activities. Mm -hmm. Jesus was allotted just 33 years of, of life on earth, but only the last three were spent in fulfilling his messianic ministry. To us, that seems like a waste of time, mm -hmm. yet Christ accomplished everything his Father gave him to do. Mm -hmm. That's why on, on the cross he could say, it is finished. John 19, Man's plans are always tentative. His plans are not his own. Time is not his own. In fact, life is not his own. It is wrong to plan if, if tomorrow were certain. We do not know what tomorrow holds. James read in 4.15 that God should be consulted in all of our plans and they should be made in his will. We should live and speak in the realization that our destinies are in his control. We should say, if the Lord wills, we should have and do this and that. James further states in verse 16 that Christians are priding themselves in their boastful plans for the future. They, they were confident that nothing would interfere until with their plans and their time schedule. They acted as if they were the masters of their own lives. Mm -hmm. However, there is nothing wrong with such planning in, in itself, but there was two considerations being ignored. The first is the finiteness of human beings, which limits their knowledge. You know not what shall own which shall be on the morrow. The second is the uncertainty of life. One must consider whether you, you are going to live your life boastfully on what you can or will do to, today or tomorrow, or acknowledge your dependence on God and say, if the Lord wills. The question is, what is your life? Scripture compares earthly life to a vapor that appears for a little while and then vanishes. That's John 4, 14. But eternal life never ends. It's foolish to spend your life on a vapor when you can reap everlasting benefits by following God's will for our time here. Each day is an opportunity to choose. Amen. 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 Amen.